Welcome to Callum Connects, five minute entrepreneurial inspiration for your day. Hector Tewani is our guest today on Callum Connects. Hector is the founder of Mums, a Tinder like app for mothers to be able to swipe, connect, and build friendships. A hurdle I have faced as an entrepreneur and a mother is um, how to balance. On an everyday basis, it's like balancing a laptop with one hand and a tugging toddler with another, all this while standing on one leg. One side does bend sometimes, but to avoid falling, one needs to maintain the balance. It's never easy. Nothing in the beginning is, but it can be done. What worked for me was to understand how I would like my children to subconsciously see and learn from me. I started following the three P's to balance. Planning, prioritizing, and personal development. The first thing I did was to let go of inertia and always try to challenge myself. I planned and took out time to do something new. Pivot the business model for my work or for that matter, even learn to skateboard with my kids. To let my children know that there shall always be ups and downs in business and so in life, I teach them to prioritize both and in the process, teach myself too. Let the every up you reach make you reach higher and let the down make you bounce back with a better plan. Third, personal development. As an entrepreneur and especially as a mother, personal development is key. Do not blindly follow a rat race and fight time, but to take time in your stride and take out time for personal growth and development. From 30 minutes of exercising to learning a new graphic designing skill in 30 days, I think one should always be open to what helps you grow. Because in the end, it is very important to understand that as an entrepreneur mother, business, family, money, personal growth, it is all very important. But so is balance. That's been my learning in my journey of uh, being an entrepreneur. The biggest hurdle I faced was when the company my partner and I built from scratch came under attack and more than a quarter of a billion dollars of value was destroyed. If you would like to learn more about that and how I came back from it, sign up at callumlang.com.